we are going to talk a bit more about the basic setup of an M84 decoder. The big advantage of the M84 decoder is that you can use your own power supplies to power the four ports, the four outputs on the M84 decoder. As an added advantage, these four ports are galvanically separated. That means that you can have an electric power source connected to port number one and a completely different electrical power source connected to port number two. The other advantage is also that it does not use up your digital track power. So in this example, we took our good old transformer and we're using the accessory power site, which you know is brown and yellow, to power some of our street lights. For this, we run a brown wire to our street light and the yellow wire from the street light, instead of going directly back to the transformer, now goes through the M84 decoder and gets switched by port number one of the M84 decoder. So if we power up the decoder, you see that the light does not come on yet because right now we have this side of port number one powered. And then if we would switch port number one, then the light would come on. And again, if we switch it back, light goes off. Now, we're only using this first port, so what we can do is we can add a second light in this example, run the brown back to the transformer, and by the way, these two browns are electrically connected, so it doesn't really matter if I put it here or on this port. And now I'm going to run a second yellow wire from the green port of the decoder to the light. And if I power everything back up, you can see that light number two will get power from port number one. And then when I switch it around, the other light comes on. We can do this differently. We can also connect this light to the speed controller side of the power supply and then this will actually act as a dimmer with the side note that that will not work if your lights are LEDs but if you have the old incandescent light bulbs then this will work perfectly as a dimmer so we're going to take off the yellow and for this example I'm just going to use red since we're using the regulated track power and connect a red wire from the transformer to the center of port number two. And then I'll run a second red wire from the green port to this light. Of course, you'll adjust the speed here, maybe halfway if you want your lights to be at half brightness. And then if we would turn on or switch port number two to green, then this light would come on. What I again want to show you here is that we're using accessory power on port number one and regulated speed control power, if you will, on port number two. And that is no problem for the M84 since these ports are electrically separated. To go on with this example, what would a layout be without a Dutch windmill? So we're adding a windmill and let's say my windmill has a separate AC power source then I'll run a wire directly to the motor of the windmill and a wire to the center of port number three. And then I'll have to run a wire from the green side of port number three to the windmill. Again, a completely different power source, no problem for the M84 since it can use four different power sources. We could even use uh, port number four for a stop section of track. All you would have to do there is run your red of your digital power to the center of port number four. And then on the green side of port number four, you would take the red wire and it would go to the center of your stop track. And that shows you four completely different sources of power for your M84.
Hopefully this example with all these wires explains you a little bit about the galvanic separation of these output ports on the M84. And in our next video, we'll switch this around and use our M84 for lights only and show you what you can program if you had lights only on that M84. Hope this taught you something. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know this may be kind of boring, but it's good stuff to know. I'll see you at the next video. Thanks again.